Hi, lady developer there. Today we will uh, try to use this STM32F1 module. I have bought it on AliExpress. Uh, it is connected with ST-Link version 2 via SWD interface. Uh, you probably don't need this extra wire for reset pin. Uh, and um, if you want to write your firmware, you should set your jumpers like that. Uh, if you want to run your firmware, you should set it to zero position, uh, both pins, both of the switches. And now let's try to set up the platform IO software and try to make something with this. I have this uh, Visual Studio Code ID. Uh, you can freely find it on the internet. It's free and uh, it's highly extendable. There is many extensions, uh, and we 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 need one of them called uh, Platform IO. Uh, so uh, you can set up it from the instructions tab. Let's install it. Um, uh, it's installed uh, relatively fast, but for first time it can be longer. Uh, you can access its command with command palette and uh, let's create a new project project name test approach and uh, as board we choose a blue pill board uh, we uh, since we have a Chinese clone of blue pill board we have C C eight one. Uh, I personally don't like the Arduino framework, so let's stick with embed uh, framework and check it out. Uh, finish. Uh -huh. My uh, setup was created relatively fast. That is because I have installed it before. And for the first time it can be it can be more time consuming. So let's uh, check check our, what we have in our project. There is uh, our project is located on in documents uh, folder. By the way, I'm using macros X and uh, these tutorials will be for uh, will be for Marcos X. Uh, the platform IO any file is like configuration file for your project. We can set different uh, flags or um, such kind of things there. We don't need to like not, uh, like uh, right now, but but we will return later. Let's check our code. It is uh, like empty project, and uh, it should be able to build uh, without errors. Let's check it. Go to the platform IO tab and. Uh, Run verbose build. It's building the project. Okay, it's built success, and uh, uh, we can see it used uh, seventeen percent uh, of uh, RAM and some flash. 
this is because uh, the embed OS framework itself uh, needs some uh, memory and uh, the rest of the memory can be used for your code and uh, your app actually. Uh, now let's try to write something there. Uh, we will try to write uh, the Blink uh, program, like traditional program for controller users. Uh, Embed OS uh, has uh, some very handy classes uh, which can be used to control the pins. Uh, we need the digital out uh, class. Uh, we need to create an uh, instance of this class. Uh, hmm. For this uh, channel, actually, I I suppose you know something about C and C++ language and uh, know have some basics about it. Uh, so we need to create an uh, instance of class uh, digital out. You can see the example by the way. Uh, Visual Studio Code can show us the like, hints where you can see how how it, uh, how this class can be used. Uh, that's it. We created a variable called LED, uh, which is a type of uh, digital out, and it is created with parameter LED one, which is uh, LED one is a like constant defined for uh, some pin connected to LED and what we want is to flip the LED and to wait one second and that's it, that's it. Uh, the blinking LED is a very simple program let's try to build uh, this program and it uh, builds without errors. Congratulations! Now we are going to connect our uh, device. Because my MacBook Pro does not have a USB Type A connector, I have found this uh, cable with uh, USB Type-C on the first side and the other side is a uh, USB Mini. And uh, now I will try, uh, I have made this uh, connector in order to connect all together and uh, we will try to firmware it using these tools. Okay, now we are going to upload our firmware. Uh, let's try. And it is failed. Let's uh, check out why. Uh, the log says uh, what it says. It says uh, unaccepted uh, ID code of the controller. Uh, this is why uh, we have a Chinese clone of STM32. And um, it has another ID code. I have googled a bit about this uh, problem, and uh, I found uh, this problem can be solved with with some uh, configuration lines. Let's uh, try. Uh, here we set the uh, proper CPU ID for our uploader. Let's try it again. 
it is rebuilding whole project because uh, we changed it uh, like master config file the platform io any and the upload was uh, succeeded and uh, now we are going to test it as you can see the light is flashing and uh, don't forget to switch the jumpers and don't forget to like and subscribe